On today's ProPresenter show, resetting the preferences in ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter show. This is the show where every week I help you with ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. You know, I don't claim to be special. I'm not teaching you all this because I know everything about ProPresenter. I just, I'm someone that likes the software and I spend a lot of time in it. But while I've talked to several of the people from Renewed Vision, I'm, you know, I don't hang out at their offices. I've never worked for them. But... That doesn't mean that I don't learn new things all the time. You see, as part of one of the groups that I started, which on Facebook is the Pro Presenter Users Group, which you can get to by going to tdm.fyi slash ppug, which I'll put up on the screen, you can... Um, just see some interactions, ask your questions, etc. over there. Well, that's where the idea for today's show came from. Matthew Kelling, who works for Renewed Vision, uh, brought up this idea as a way to fix a problem that someone was having. So I thought we'd go through it step by step and I'd show you exactly how to do it. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. I'm going to try and follow the um, instructions over here on the ProPresenter Users Group, which you can get to facebook.com slash group slash ProPresenter Users Group. Or if you just want to go for a shortcut, it's tdm.fyi slash ppug. We'll take you there as well. In fact, it's going to take me there right now. So uh, Matthew Kelling, who is uh, one of the people that works at Renewed Vision, uh, he and Chris Rouse are on the board all the time, along with a couple of other Renewed Vision uh, people. And um, so we had this question earlier today, and I thought that we would take a look at... Uh, Take a look at it. See, this is um, someone in Mexico City, Mexico, welcome, who is having trouble. I'm not going to try and pronounce your name because I'm going to mess it up. But Matthew suggests this procedure. So we're going to go through this and see if this does it. Okay, first off, close ProPresenter. So let me command tab over to ProPresenter and close it. Okay. Next, open a new finder window and press command shift G. So command tab gets me to finder. Command new. Command shift G. Okay. And Enter the following exactly as it's shown. Tilde slash library slash go to preferences capital P preferences and delete all files and folders that start with com.renewedvision.propresenter5 Okay, let's slide on down here. com.apple Aha com.
Okay, it looks like there's just two of them. So, command delete deletes those. And let me go down here to my trash and empty that out so they're gone for good. Bam. Okay, now let's restart ProPresenter 5. Now I assume that something similar would do the same thing for Pro 6. Probably those two. Um, And I'm going to click Remind Me Later on that. We'll see that at least one of those has regenerated. And now they've both apparently... Well, in the process, so let's see if that fixes this particular problem. But if not, it's still worth knowing that sometimes that preference file can get corrupt. And this is the procedure to get rid of those two. And they just regenerate themselves when Pro 5 and I assume Pro 6 as well starts up. And I think I just saw that pop down and no. Nope. Still a couple of, um, still just one of those in there. Has another one that's popping in and out, so we'll see once I finish. I go to demo. Still did the same thing, but I suspect. Oh, look! This is definitely back. Um, so I'm going to close that. So that does do some stuff. It uh, changes some of the preference files, and that uh, should solve some problems if some of the other ways of doing things don't seem to work when you're troubleshooting ProPresenter 5 or ProPresenter 6. Well, if you're having problems, that may not fix them, but it might. And as you see, it's really not a big deal to delete the preference files and have it show back up because sometimes they get corrupted and sometimes that's the cause of your problems. If you like this content, you'd like my email newsletter. Trust me on that. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter. And there you can uh, sign up for the newsletter and I'll send you some links to some uh, mini versions of some of my ProPresenter courses. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.